So I did an oopsie daisy here. These are baby oak trees. These are acorns that I planted last year. And I obviously didn't plant them in a pot deep enough. Their roots are coming out this end. So there's four, one, two, three, four so far. I think that's all there is. So I'm transplanting them in these. This is uh, compost from last year's pots. So it's kind of been used. This is good compost that I've been, I've been transplanting tomatoes. I'll show you what I've been doing over here. See, I've been transplanting tomatoes. These tomatoes were in trays like that, so transplanted those and transplanted these. So I'm slowly but surely getting things ready for going out and transplanting, etc. But I spotted these oak trees and I said, oops, I better do them because you can see the root is coming out the bottom. So I'm going to transplant them into there. Got a lovely view, red geraniums and those blue irises and honesty outside. Ah, definitely a lovely sunny day. I'm doing this while it's still cool. It'll be very, very hot soon. So I've got to dump these and transplant now. So here they are potted on and more of my trees over here. Somebody asked me how I prevent mice and rats from eating my acorns when I'm planting them. Well, I put them in these buckets. These buckets have holes in them. And here you can see the trees are coming up. There's that. This is a different kind of oak. This is a different kind of oak again. So that's one, two different oaks. I've got to remember what this is. I think these are hazelnuts. I think these were hazels. So these are baby hazel trees. So... At some stage, I'm going to be potting those on. But I think I'm going to continue. Look at the wisterias coming out here. Look at that. I'm going to be potting on some more tomatoes while it's still cool enough. These are all things I've got to plant out. Loads of stuff. Ugh. There's never enough time in my life for gardening. These are three cherry plums. It's a wonderful tree I met uh, last year. And so three cherry plums, I had about five of them and only three came up. So hoping that they will turn into, remain true to their parent plant and be cherry plums, but you never know. So it's a Sunday and you create these gardens to enjoy. So, I am, oh dear, gonna sit comfortably, have a bit of toast, some coffee, and read a book that I started the other night. So, you gonna join me? Yeah? Everybody else is lying down in other locations. Ah, yes. This is my happy place. Isn't that right, Inka Dink? You coming up too? Come on. You coming? Come on. Inka, are you controlling the roost and preventing your daughter from coming up? Yeah, <laughs> I thought as much. <laughs> ah. Just when I thought I was gonna have a quiet day, the guy who mucks out my shed said he could come. Today's Sunday. <laughs> so I've gotta go set to work. I was having a lovely time reading my book in the sun, but now I have to go out here and clear all the gates in the yard for the big old manure eating machine to come. 
There's my sign. Anyway, I've got to come out here now and move all of these gates. So I've got to do that now. So my lovely day of rest is not a day of rest anymore, but a day of work in the sun. Whew. Well, as I'm doing this, I remember last year, sadly, we disturbed a bumblebee nest. I'm hoping we don't this year. So you can see it's already composting. I didn't have as much wood chip as I wanted this year. So my lasagna of wood chip, manure and urine and straw is not as deep. Now the horses are much deeper. Even had the kickboards put up. Anyway, slowly taking it down before the lad comes, before Owen comes. Whew, so much for a relaxing Sunday. Ah. Oh dear, not even halfway done. Still loads to do. And he's arrived. Never mind. He'll help me. So, this area was the area I sacrificed this winter because it was so wet and I wanted to let the horses out. And what I'm going to do is all of the shed, wood chip, hay, straw, manure, urine, is all going to fill this square up. That way it's not going to be a crop of thistles like it is over here. So he's going to dump the first load and we'll spread this as a uh, real deep litter of wood chip and uh, straw and hay. The horses are very excited about all this. Ah, it's so wonderful how quick this machine mucks out the shed. It would take me a month. So he's going up over the hill and spreading it in that area. But look at how rich that is. That is beautiful soil food. You can see the wood chip there. And there's wood chip there. So it's the wood chip straw manure urine lasagna. Soil rocket fuel. Here he comes. Nearly done. So the shed is cleared almost completely. I just now have to power hose the shed in the yard and lots of muckiness 
of tracks going up into the field, but it'll recover. Those, uh, literally I text to see when he could do it. And he said, now, and I was relaxing and reading a book in the garden. It's like, ah, so I had to leap up and come and take fences down. So that job's done, or the next job is ready now, power hosing. Look at this, loads of bluebells here. There's the cow parsley. This is the entrance to our driveway. Look at this, white bells and blue bells and dandelions. And loads of dandelions and loads of grass. You're supposed to be staying. Be good, go on, ah, ah, ah. Stay, stay, stay. Okay, good dogs. Yeah, when I go near the road, you're all supposed to stay. Now, the rest of the dogs all know to stay up around the corner. These two just still haven't learned. Anyway, the cool thing is along here, there's a huge diversity of plants, including cowslips. Here's a cowslip that's blooming. Look at that. It's beautiful. That's all going to be grazed. The sheep are going to graze this tonight because it was a really hot day. I didn't want to move them until now in the evening. The sun is going down behind those trees. So look at that. More diversity dandelions, mint, all kinds of things. Okay, so I better hustle to get up to move the yews out of the orchard so they can graze this, loads of grass. So they'll be here till tonight. Uh, tomorrow, Monday, is a bank holiday. So they're gonna have a most delicious time along this driveway. I've been trying to make it as diverse as possible and succeeding, which is great. They'll make a mess of it, eat loads of it, and then they move on. Look at this speedwell. Speedwell is such a beautiful little blue flower. There's loads of it in there. Okay, off to get the sheep down. Hey, Mustard, how are you, kitty? Yes, how are you? Come on, girls! You don't want to go. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Woo! Come on, girls. Come on. Woo! Come on. Come on. What have you done with your children?
aren't you coming? Look, come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woo. They see the gates open. Now I've got to go find the lambs that are lagging behind. Cut, leave them. Java, Java, leave them. Come on, girls. Leave it, Inca. Go on, you take them. Ah, uh ah, -uh, Inca, leave them be. Go on. Hey, hey, leave them, leave them, leave them. Good dogs. Got to see if there's any in the rest of the place. The orchard is in full bloom. The last two left behind. No, Inca, don't. Inca, leave it. Leave it. Go on. Java, no. Good boy. One. Uh, uh, Java, leave it. So everybody's there. So not the last lambs. Where's your mama? Yeah, I hear you heard her. You found her. You silly girl. Brindle, come back. Java, leave it. Okay, not a very clever sheep. Okay. Look at all this lovely kindling. Now. Okay. You silly girl. Look at you, sweeties. Now you're gonna have to move so that I can get your mama out. <sighs> oh, dang. You've really got yourself stuck in there. My old technique's not working. I might have to do two-handed. Okay, Missy. Oh, 
Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. Can you come back this way now? I pulled you out of the fence. Can you back up now? Oh, Gracie, it's you. Come on. Come on. Get out. Come on. There you go. Come on. Hey, 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 Inca, leave it. Java, leave them. Okay. Right through the nettle patch. Java, Java, Java. Leave them be. Enough. Leave it. Good boy, leave it. They're going in the right direction. That's enough. She knows where to go. No, you're not getting water yet. You have to go the other direction. You have to follow the flock. There's water in that direction. Java, leave it. Inca, leave it. Inca, come here. Inca, come here. Leave it. Inca, wait. No. There we go. And she's down. I'll close this gate. Now that the last, yeah, of the bottom gate's closed so nobody can come back up. Inca, Java, no. Maya, no. Go on. Go on. Go on, girls. Go on. Go on. Go on, girls. Go on. Java, leave it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Come on. Go on. Go on, you two. Go on. Come on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Java, Java, behave. Good boy. They're having a lovely time eating in here. I don't want to push them on. Cow parsley is a favorite. Hey, not my spindle. Hey, 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 get away from my cherry trees. Go on. Those are my babies, other babies. Come on, girls. Come on. Go on. 
Okay, Java, enough. Good boy. That All you needed was that one little bark. Good boy. Now, this was the mama who's left behind. Come on. Come on. We all know who that is, a little bit. Come on, little bit. Java, no. Java, leave it be. Come on. Come on. You're going to like the driveway. The long acre is full of delicious grass. Come on. Java, leave it. Java, Java, leave it. Behave. Come on. No, your mom is the other way. That's the stargazer right there. The really bad one. It's doing really well. Go on. Go on. Go on. Come on, little bit. Come on. You're the last one. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Java, leave it. Okay. Hey, your feather. Whoops, the gate. There we go. Oh, I've got to take this two hands. Okay, that'll be pretty much grazed off by tomorrow morning.